Hello there everyone, you've tuned in UXW Bill, and today I have for your viewing pleasure a product review. This is Barilla Pronto Brand Pasta, and it promises to make pasta preparation much easier. One pan, no boil, and no drain. Does it live up to these expectations and promises? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Now, I will be honest with you here when I say that I do kind of have my doubts because the grocery store where I found this being offered for sale had all of these boxes on clearance while supplies last. Ordinarily, I might not have bought a product like this because convenience always costs more, and in this case, you get less, 12 ounces as opposed to the pound that you normally get. On a totally unrelated tangent, is there anyone out there who knows why when you buy a box of something like Rainbow Rotini you only get 12 ounces of it as opposed to a pound like you do with other types of pasta? I suspect that maybe it's because so many people use Rainbow Rotini in a pasta salad, thus they don't need as much of it and a pound might be overkill. But if you know for sure, I'd certainly be interested in hearing from you down in the comments. Meanwhile, back to the product review. As you might be able to tell, even here in the death throes of summer, it's still quite hot in the kitchen. And right now we don't actually have the air conditioning turned on here, even as much as I would like to. So anything that could save my, me some time and effort in the kitchen and reduce the amount of heat thrown off by the stove is certainly appreciated. So let's go ahead and prepare this and see what we get. Preparing this pasta product is quite easy. You simply follow the directions on the back of the box, and even if you can't find the hot water in a kitchen, I'm pretty sure that you could end up making this. So long, of course, as you're willing to make a concession and actually read the directions. And even though I'm a guy and I'm not supposed to read the directions, sometimes sacrifices just have to be made, and I assure you I was capable of doing it. I think the rest of you can probably get through it as well. And you probably should at least try, because as I often say, although I love to cook, the fire department really doesn't enjoy it when I do. We'll go ahead, pour the pasta into the waiting pot here, and then I have three cups of water pre-measured and ready to be added. That's what it looks like so far. That's only two cups. Here's the third. The pasta isn't quite covered up, so I'm really not sure how this is going to work. I do think that their ideas for preparation are a little bit different than how I usually fix my pasta because I usually don't mix it with sauce and anything else I desire to put on it until I'm actually seated at the table and the directions mention that you should do that when you have finished. As soon as we've mixed the water and the pasta together we can add just a touch of salt to go ahead and flavor it to taste as desired also helps to keep it from sticking. Don't know how much of a problem that'll be with this particular product. But then we are to turn on the heat. And although they declare proudly on the box that no boiling is required, they tell us to turn the heat on for a period of 10 minutes, which we should set on a convenient timer, like, say, this one. I'll be back in 10 minutes to see how the pasta is coming along. For those of you in the viewing audience who might at this point be wondering if these pasta noodles seem to be any different than the regular types you can buy on store shelves, I went ahead and fished one out just now that was still relatively dry, and I tasted it. I noticed no difference in taste, texture, thickness, or hardness, so I really don't know what they've done to make this pasta so special if they have in fact done anything. And here, folks, is problem number one with the cooking directions indicated on this package. Maybe my stove is much more powerful than what they used at Barilla's headquarters. I really don't know. But it just overboiled. And I mean, I just cleaned this stove top. What a bummer. Here's what we have after just a touch more than 10 minutes. I was actually on the phone with someone. So this got a little more cooking time than normal. Probably burn myself doing this, but let's just see how it tastes. It's kind of soft, but it's not bad. Unfortunately, I do hear what sounds like some water down in the bottom of that pot that's still boiling and bubbling away. Now they say you don't have to drain this, but I was interested in seeing if there was in fact any water in here. Unfortunately, I need more hands than I've got, but 
I can tell you right away that there is. I've got a better idea as to how to do this. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my solution to that particular difficulty. These are a great little thing to have around the kitchen, especially if you cook yourself a small amount of pasta relatively frequently. The only thing that leaves me wanting about this is the fact that it's not really tall enough. I wish somebody made one of these that ran to like half the height of the pot opening or more so that you wouldn't risk any of your food spilling out. Anyways, I started to say I thought there was a lot of water left in here. We're certainly going to find out. But it looks like I was wrong. So let's go ahead and put it on the table and just see how it fares. Here's my ultimate take on this product. It's certainly not the worst pasta that I've ever had. It's quite far from the best. In fact, I would say it's probably on the lower side of simply inoffensive. In my opinion, the drawbacks far outweigh the advantages. It costs a lot more than regular pasta. You don't get anywhere near as much. For me, at least, it boiled over. I noticed that the texture of the noodles varied quite considerably from one to the next. None of them were what you would call firm. If you like your pasta, as they say, al dente, or firm to the bite, you probably won't like this product. It didn't turn out that way for me. The pasta was soft at the best of times, at the worst of times. It was incredibly mushy, almost to the point where it was going to fall apart, despite the fact that I stirred it regularly per the directions while I was cooking it. Amazingly, I am pleased to report that the pasta was not sticky. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to make pasta that isn't sticky. Barilla managed to pull that off quite nicely with however they happened to formulate this product. Ultimately, though, I don't recommend it. I didn't care for it that much. It costs a lot more. I like my pasta much firmer to the bite than this stuff comes out. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not in that much of a hurry, and I don't really think it saved me a whole lot of time. Because while the water's boiling, I can certainly be doing something else. Chopping up vegetables, cooking the sauce, making sure I've got everything in the refrigerator that I want to have. Even though I'm somewhat doubtful that it will happen, if anyone from Barilla, either in the Americas or in their home country of Italy, happens to see this video and has a comment about it or would like to respond to me, I would certainly be interested in hearing from you. Meanwhile, for everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I certainly hope that this review has been useful to you, and I would appreciate your leaving a comment if you have one.